Coming to the Macroberts maneuver, this is the first maneuver and the most common maneuver used in cases of shoulder dystocia. In this, we remove the patient's leg from the stirrup and abduct the maternal thighs and sharply hyperflex them onto her abdomen as you can see in this picture. And this Mac Roberts positioning actually works not by changing the actual dimension of the maternal pelvis, it straightens the lumbosacral angle as you can see in this picture. When we hyperflex and abduct the thighs over the abdomen, then this will cause straightening of the lumbosacral angle. It causes scaphoid rotation of the symphysis pubis and thus increases the anteroposterior diameter of the pelvis and this causes the fetal shoulder to slide under the symphysis pubis. And this Mac Roberts maneuver is almost always used along with the suprapubic pressure. We ask the assistant to apply the suprapubic pressure as you can see here. This suprapubic pressure is applied just above the maternal symphysis pubis to the anterior shoulder of the fetus. And the goal of this maneuver is to move the fetal shoulder away from its direct anteroposterior position to into the oblique diameter so that it can be easily delivered. And Mac Roberts maneuver if used alone it resolves almost 50% of the shoulder dystocias and when used along with the suprapubic pressure then almost 60% of the shoulder dystocias resolve. And in this maneuver the complication involved is injury to the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. 